Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is Fayaz Ahmed Sumro and uh, I'm going to talk about uh, sociology. Today I'll uh, inform you about uh, the importance of sociology and whether it's a scoring subject or otherwise. I'll also be discussing about uh, what are those areas which are required to be covered from the sociological point of view and I'll also discuss why sociology and what is the, the overlapping of sociology with other subjects as well basically. Uh, sociology is a subject uh, which is a very uh, common, it is the subject which does not require some deep knowledge or deep uh, uh, knowledge about other subjects as well because the area of this subject is a tale of town and it does not require any background for the students as well basically. It usually talks about those areas for which we are already familiar. It talks about the family, it talks about the culture, about the community, about the social problems, about the social stratification, about, about the social mobility, then social control. So these are those areas which are very, very familiar to us and we always have been listening, we have been, been facing with all these issues of the sociology as well basically. Regarding uh, sociology to get good numbers, every subject has got its core competency. And in sociology, there are four areas. And if a student is eager to understand or to get good numbers in sociology, then he is required to learn about those four areas and he needs to have some competency over those four areas. For example, you will always have one question from a school of thoughts in sociology. So when we talk about a school of thought, it is basically we are talking about Allama Ibn Khuldun, we are talking about August Kame, we are talking about Herbert Spencer, we are talking about Emily Durkheim, about the Karl Marx, Max Weber and Robert King Martin as well basically. And Every school of thought is very, is very, very, very famous because of his theory. Like Ibn Khuldun has the Muqaddama and Asabiya. Like August Kami is talking about the religion of the humanity and the law of three stages. Spencer is very famous. He is talking about the social evolution theory. Then militant and military versus industrial theory. Then he is talking about the organic analogy as well basically. And when you talk about the Karl Marx then the theory, conflict theory is very famous and Emily Durkheim is very famous because of the theory of the society and Robert Martin is very famous because of the social strain. So as a student it is very important for him that he should know first of all that what are the social perspectives in sociology. That he must know about the evolutionary perspective, about the conflict perspective, about the symbolic or interactions perspective, and about about the uh, about the, the, the that is the fourth perspective, which is normally called as the the evolutionary perspective, evolutionary perspective, functionalist perspective, then then symbolic or interactions perspective, and fourth one is. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. So these are the four perspective, evolutionary perspective. One is called evolutionary perspective. Then is the conflict perspective. The third one is the functionalist perspective, and fourth one is the symbolic or interactionist perspective, basically. So this is the one question, and every year there's at least one or two questions from a school of thought, from the theories of the sociology. So that's very clear. Number second, you will have always a question from the social research, and social research is not Greek to us. It is not Greek to you as well, basically, because you have been conducting research. You have learned about research when you are doing your bachelor's or your master's. So in research, you are not going to to, to ask to write the synopsis or write about the thesis or the, the proposals, you'll be, you'll be required to talk about the fundamentals of the social research. For example, how to define research, methodologies of the social research, the salient features of good research, technicalities of the good research. So this question is very important from the, the exam point of view. Every year there, there's at least also one or two questions from the, the, the paper point of view. The third one is a very important area which is called the social problems of Pakistan. So when you talk about the social problems of Pakistan, then we have got a number of problems such as the juvenile delinquency. We talk about the child labor, about the child abuse, about the brain drain, and many issues are there that are very important part, part and parcel of this, this I mean, paper. So these are three questions you will have to attempt and you know very well that these are three areas from which you have to attempt the paper. And the fourth area which is very common, which is the, 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 the main point from the sociological terms point of view, like you'll be given an opportunity to talk about the culture and within the culture there is a question from the ethnocentrism and xenocentrism then there is a society society then community difference between society and community types of society then family types of the family then marriage then we have got a social stratification then social control and some other 
areas which are very famous and it should not be Greek to you as well basically. So there are four questions that you need to attempt and these are the four areas. So now guessing from these four areas should not be a difficult task because you already know these are the four areas and you have to attempt the four questions as well. So sociology is a very famous because it already tells you about the question about the nature of questions as well basically. And again if we talk about the trends of sociology with regard to score or scoring then then it's a good subject it is a very highly scoring subject as well because of the reason the reason behind it is a subject wherein you need to be descriptive you need to write and you always write the areas for which you are already familiar with basically so sometimes for the last two years the assessment criteria of sociology has got changed it was earlier it was the approach of the student that okay we need to prepare only the theories of sociology but now they are looking at other areas as well they wanted to know whether you know the application of sociology whether you know the information about the social issues of pakistan and you can make a nexus between issues and theoretical assumptions or the theories as well similarly uh, when you talk about the the subject overlapping this subject is a huge overlapping i can without any art of doubt say it is a subject which plays very important role in your essay writing in the composition in the gender and the chronology and islamiyat and many subjects as well because when you are writing or when you are discussing any aspect of the the subject it ultimately has to take some resources from the society and sociology is a subject which is not the study of the individual neither is the only study of the individuals it is a study of the entire human and non-human environment as well basically so sociology covers the political economical social technological geographical and other areas as well so when you are appearing in your paper ultimately you will have to take care of all these areas as well basically now how to get good numbers in sociology so if you talk about getting good numbers in sociology then there are certain areas which you need to cover number one you must have a complete grip or syllabus if a student has got a complete grip or syllabus then he is able to get good numbers number one number two the student must know the core competency or the core area of sociology which already i have discussed that's about the theories about the social research about the social problems of pakistan and about the common topics of the sociology as well this will make you more easier and if you are well known about these four areas it's a it's a it's a fact that you will get good numbers because nothing is greek to you and and the paper which you are going to face in your in your in your exam you know already well very well you can guess very well because the areas are very very clear there nothing is hidden when you are confused as well basically similarly if you know about the issues and you are, are a good reader you have got some hints on the newspaper and some other books as well and you can generate you have got some 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 reading habit and again the writing habit writing is a very important if you really wanted to get good numbers then there are the only three criteria number one is the writing number two is the writing and number three is the writing so there's a very common quote that reading makes men uh, perfect speaking and attending conferences ready men and writing exact so from the sociological point of view if you really wanted to get good numbers then you have to write it's one of the important criterion to get good numbers and to pass out with the flying colors as well basically and regarding the sociological material there's a book of sociology which is covering your entire uh, entire topics according to your federal public service commission and other competitive exams as well basically regarding suggestions of uh, uh, getting a good numbers in sociology there are two books very famous one is uh hot on a hunt and second one is the shankar rao an indian writer so if you're reading shankar rao's book it will definitely give you some fundamentals of the sociological perspectives and sociological knowledge but the other chapters are only from the indian perspective so better to read his first four three or five chapters and with regard to the to the uh, other book that's very famous and very very good from the it will construct the sociological knowledge in your mind and you'll be able to understand the sociology in its religious perspective thank you very much Thank you.